How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. My client flew in for the next two days to get his outer sleeve cover up. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Hey, Kevin. James, nice to meet have you. Have a seat. Hey, man. James, nice to meet you. What do you have? Two pieces. I guess you want to do that. Oh. Right? <laughs> Love it. Um, kind of just let him practice on me, to be honest. And it's funny because he's actually a professional tattoo artist now, and he's actually okay. really good at what he does. Except he does traditional work. Maybe I uh, <laughs> helped him to get to where he is today. <laughs> hey, you 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 set him up. I was so sick of looking on artists myself, and I just posted on Instagram, and I was like, "Send me references right now, like tattoo artists, cover artists, whatever." And like, so many people sent me artists. I checked out maybe like 20 artists, and I. My buddy Steven, he lives out here. Mm -hmm. He sent me yours, and I was like, as soon as I saw your work, I saw him, I was like, that's him. That's it. <laughs> I fucking sent that application out so fast, and then I was checking it every day, man, every day, and I was like, oh, please. <laughs> and I sent out it again, and then I got the response. I'm like, yeah. yes. I was so <laughs> excited, dude. I was like, yes. <laughs> that is so dope, because I feel like I'm pretty sure you waited a while. Yeah. You know, so and, excited, I, and now we're here. That was like the best email I've got. <laughs> I would be sick. Which it fits so nicely and will cover up the whole thing so nicely. Yeah. The features, ex the expression on it, it's insane. Yeah. I might be able to sneak in maybe a little bit of red in it okay. to, to portray the blood in it. We have three solid options that, we have the top looking amazing, the bottom, it's only gonna complement the top. Yeah. So we're gonna make 100%. it work. It's gonna work out. Yes, it's gonna work out 100%. <laughs> Today is day one and I'm gonna be covering up Jesus with another Jesus. <laughs> Sounded better in my head when I said it. <laughs> it's cold out there. It's chilly, yeah, huh? Right over there, don't I like this weather though, you know, because it's, I like wearing sweaters and yeah. I like feeling cold. Me too, man. I love the winter. With the heat, I hate it. <laughs> I sweat in 0.3 seconds. Do you? Yo, like I step outside and it's a little hot, but my back is dripping. But All right, let's go to the middle of the shop so I can have space to put this on. I don't know how your mind like, man. You know what? It, or like sees I, it. I look at it. I'm like, what am I looking at? <laughs> sometimes I think the same way. <laughs> <laughs> look at this guy. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> Damn, Daniel. <laughs> Stasty, man. <laughs> All right. So the stencil is ready to go. I really like the placement, and my starting point is going to be on the neck area because I want that beard to stand out. The beard is going to have a whole bunch of detail, so in order for me to make the beard stand out is by making the neck have a whole bunch of contrast and make it as dark as I can make it look before it's too dark. Now, here we go. You ready? Yep. Fire. Uh, the background on the, or the contrast on the neck went pretty fast. All I'm going to do now is start the beard. The beer is going to be very interesting because I'm going to be using a 7 round liner with the same voltage of a 5.0 and I'm not going to be following my reference step by step just because my reference shows a lot of hair and to translate that onto skin it's not going to work out because with time it's going to fade and it's not going to look great so I will give him a better version of uh, the beer to create more contrast and a long lasting tattoo. I'm just going with the flow here. I've done many type of beards throughout my career, so now I'm able to kind of pick and choose what looks great for the specific face that I'm tattooing. So here, I feel like a curly beard will look a lot better. Once I see where everything is, then I'll figure out where to put more black, where to put less black, where I'm gonna put my highlights and things like that.
I'm starting with the darkest part of the cheekbone to uh, create my shades and keep the dimension of the cheekbone. Um, I'm taking it very slow, starting with a medium gray, maybe it's like a 70% uh, medium gray. And I'm gonna fade it out, or not, not necessarily fade it out, but keep packing a lighter gray to create that, uh, the face structure and the features. Shape on that is crazy. The highlights on the face, yeah, punching air, bro, because that should look nasty. Shoo! Alrighty then, let's eat. Today's the final day and I'm gonna be covering up the forearm which is gonna complete the outer sleeve. <laughs> Dude, that looks huge. Holy shit. Easy day today. It's gonna be nice. <laughs> it's gonna be nice. All right, have a seat. Oh. Right, so second day here. Uh, I'm starting off with outlining the, the cross. I don't want to lose the stencil of that. Uh, I'm going to be making that, uh, the cross red to make it stand out and make it match a little bit more with uh, the theme. Um, I'm really excited to do the helmet. It has a whole bunch of texture. And to finally complete the outer sleeve, it was a little tough yesterday. You were hurting a little bit. Yeah, it was hurting a little bit. We <laughs> got it done, though. We got it we done. We got it done. And, uh, but today we're going to complete it. I probably predict we're going to be here for like, eh, like seven hours, probably. What time is your flight? Tomorrow morning. Uh, okay. Oh, you're going to be chilling. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
To make sure that I do this cover up successfully, I want to start with my solid black first and apply my scribble technique and do texture all over the helmet. And then after I'm done with that, I'm gonna begin to transition to my medium gray. And my last layer is gonna be my lightest gray. My lightest gray is what's gonna create the highlight on the helmet and my solid black is what's gonna create the dimension that the helmet, the helmet is uh, curving. And I have to make sure that I keep in mind where my concerts and highlights are at because it's very easy to add too much texture to the point uh, that the helmet is going to get a little lost and look flat. All done? That's it. Go. Get out of here. <laughs> Go. Ooh. I love the cross, to be honest. Dude. It's like on the perfect spot. The little it's details. insane. Come here, I want to kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> when I first got that email that I was accepted, I was beyond excited. Overall experience from start to finish was amazing. Everything was super easy. Kevin worked with any suggestions or you know, came up with some of his own ideas that I loved and we went with and he made everything seamless. And it was just a great experience. He treats you well, it's very nice. His uh, assistant Marcus, big help as well. Super nice people, good vibes, good energy. Loved the whole process. The whole reason I wanted to get these covered up is I mean, I got these when I was young, under 18 and they were just really, really bad, and I was embarrassed walking around with them on my arms. Um, I wanted to get them covered up, get something nicer, something that I'm proud of, something that I would be proud to walk around with my shirt off, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that now for sure. 